one of the questions uh, that I saw a lot of people search online is whether or not diabetes is linked with various forms of dementia or maybe even diet linked to dementia. Yeah, so uh, diet is something that has emerged over the last 20 years as being uh, uh, very important. And it turns out that the healthy diet to eat are basically the Mediterranean menu of foods. And so that includes fish, olive oil, avocados, fruits and vegetables, nuts and beans, and whole grains. Now, we're also able to add that from some studies that have been done. We can add poultry, so like chicken, turkey, uh, duck, uh, can be added into that diet as well. So all those things have been shown in, in thousands and thousands of studies to, number one, be less likely to develop Alzheimer's disease or another form of dementia, and also uh, help to keep uh, older adults thinking in memory stronger, even without worrying about dementia. Your thinking in memory uh, will basically be better. Now, um, so usually after I've gone through these list of things that are sort of healthy diets, you know, uh, people say, well, okay, well, what are the things that are not healthy? And, you know, I have to say, you know, unfortunately, it's almost everything else. So, you know, so the way I put it is there's a whole bunch of once in a while foods that you don't want to eat every single day. And the once in a while foods include red meat, fatty foods, butter and margarine, pastries and most sweets, white rice, white bread, white flour, sugar sodas, sugar juices, diet sodas, and diet juices. All of those things I would put in the once in a while uh, food category. And the reason that um, some of these things are on the list is some of these once in a while foods I just mentioned cause large uh, surges of sugar to go in the bloodstream. Mm -hmm. And so it's obviously um, uh, logical that if you're having a sugar soda or a sugar uh, juice or you're having candy or cakes or cookies, that that's going to cause large amounts of sugar uh, to, to go into your bloodstream. And the brain uh, is fed by uh, glucose. That's its favorite form of uh, of uh, uh, nutrition or energy uh, for the cells. But it, it doesn't know how to manage these very large spikes of uh, sugar. And so it releases insulin to try to drive the levels uh, back down mm -hmm. uh, to normal. And these high surges of insulin is bad uh, for the brain. It's actually toxic to neurons, especially when it's happening again and again and again and again. You know, a single surge of, uh, uh, of sugar in the bloodstream isn't going to kill a neuron, but when it's seeing these surges all the time, it's damaging uh, over time uh, to, uh, to the brain cells, and that's why it's been linked uh, with uh, diabetes, because in diabetes, uh, which also is a risk factor for developing uh, Alzheimer's and vascular dementia and other types of dementia, you have these large um, spikes of, of sugar and then the, the insulin uh, following it up. Now, I wanted to comment on a couple of the other things on this once in a, uh, you know, once in a while list. Uh, I mentioned diet sodas and diet juices. And you might say, well, what's wrong if it's diet? And the answer is that the artificial sweeteners are so good that even though they don't have calories, the insulin receptors are fooled and they think it's real sugar and it also shoots up insulin levels. And two things happen when you have a diet soda, for example, 
and the insulin levels go up. The first thing is that's again bad for the brain to have these high levels of insulin. But the second thing is it makes you hungry and people end up eating just as many calories if they have a diet soda versus if they have a uh, sugar soda because uh, they will go find something else to eat to replace that calories because those insulin levels are shooting up and the body's like, where's the, where's the energy? Where's the food? I want it. And the reason that white rice, white bread, and white flour are bad is because those very simple carbohydrates are quickly broken down into sugars. So very quickly in the bloodstream, like bam, they're broken down into sugars, and then that causes spikes of sugar, which causes spikes of insulin. So, um, you know, some people say you shouldn't have any grains whatsoever. I think it's perfectly fine to have grains. They should just be whole, whole grains. So, you know, you want to have some bread, you know, have it made with whole wheat flour or another whole grain flour uh, or have oatmeal, you know, and especially, you know, the longer you have to cook the oatmeal, the healthier it is, you know, have like the steel cut oatmeal, but any of it is, is good for you because then your, uh, your stomach and your intestines work on those whole grains slowly and the sugars are really slowly over time it, uh, because it stays in your, in your gut and gets processed over time, number one, it will fill you up for like the whole morning if you have a bowl of steel-cut uh, oatmeal uh, because it's released slowly over time. And then there's just a little bit of sugar going into the bloodstream, just small levels of insulin, and that's all very healthy. Hey folks, connecting with your benefits is our primary mission, and the SITREP is providing more options than ever. Subscribe to our free email newsletter, subscribe to our audio podcast channel, or subscribe to our content on YouTube. For details and links, check out the description below.